After her son went blind from a concussion, Dr. Joni became interested in learning more about concussions. And when one out of ten Americans will be impacted by concussions every year, you never know when it could happen to you. Joining me now is Dr. Joni. Good morning. Good morning. Well, Lady Gaga and Justin Bieber are two people that everybody knows who've had concussions. But odds are is that a lot of American families are probably going to be impacted by concussions over the next 10 years. So okay. that's why I'm so happy to be here to talk about the three big myths about concussions. Okay. And like I said, your son was impacted by a concussion and, you know, went blind for a while. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah he. Um, it was a very it was very shocking because when he called me he didn't even let me answer he said mom i got a concussion i got hit so hard that i was that i went blind wow and he actually waited like three weeks before he even told you about this he was that you know traumatized yes he was trying to do things on his own because he's a big boy mm -hmm. he was 29 years old at the time but his symptoms actually got worse wow okay so let's get into the myths what's the first myth about concussions the very first myth about concussions is that everybody thinks oh my god you got hit in the head you've got to go to the hospital and and get a x-ray but x-rays and MRIs aren't going to tell you that you've got a concussion okay. so what's really important is that you know the indications of a concussion. Okay. So first of all, you, if you got hit in the head, um, do you have a lot of headaches? You probably have a concussion. The second one is, are you feeling nauseous since you got hit in the head? The third one is, are you vomiting mm -hmm. since you got hit in the head? And the fourth one is, um, are you having any eye problems or with your vision? Okay. And Maybe that's not. what happened to my son when he went blind. Right. All right, how about the second myth about concussions? The second myth about concussions is they tell you that rest is the best treatment for concussions, but unfortunately, rest is not a guarantee that you're going to cure your concussion. So if you're sitting at home, missing school, missing work because you got a concussion and they told you to rest, you're probably wasting your time okay. because it's more important that you're not passive about your concussion. You've got to be proactive in order to heal it. All right, and how about the third myth about concussions? The third myth is that you can't speed up the healing process, and that's totally not, not right, because what's more important is that you find out what you can do, how to do it, and what to do in order to heal that concussion faster. All right, and I'm happy to say your son is healthy and well today, right? Yes, it's been 17 months since he had that accident, and he's doing everything that he loves, and he's perfectly right. fine. Well, thank you, Dr. Joni, for your time this morning. Um, we will have her back tomorrow with more tips on the healing process with concussions, and you can visit her website for more tips, drjoni.com.